Today we're going to be able to write and graph equations of lines through two points. And so the method that we do this, we can take the two points, we can throw them into a t-chart. Um, that just kind of helps us get everything lined up so we can find the slope. We don't really need the two bottom points there. Um, I can find my slope. This is my change in y is an increase of 3. My change in x is an increase of 1. So that tells me my change in y over my change in x is equal to 3. Again, make sure that you're recognizing your y is over here and your x is over here. It is positive 3 over positive 1, which just simplifies to 3. So we can start writing our equation, y equals 3x plus we don't know. And that's where we've got to use what we already know, y equals 3x plus b. And I'm going to take one of my x's and one of my y's, and I'm going to plug them in. So I'm going to choose the x and y from this point. Remember, they have to be from the same point. And I'm going to plug those in. So the y is 5. The x I'm plugging in is 3. So now I just need to solve this equation. I can do, go ahead and simplify this by multiplying the 3 times 3. That's going to be 9. And to solve for b, I just need to add a negative 9 to both sides. It's going to be negative 4 is equal to b. So that means that all I need to do is throw my y-intercept over here is negative 4. You can really graph this any way you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and graph the two points over here, um, 3, 5, because this is actually going to help me check my work. Um, over 3, up 5. And 4, 8, 4, 8. And if you've got a nice, clean, straight edge, we should be able to see that this line should go through negative 4. And as you can see, I don't quite have a good straight edge, so mine quite, didn't quite get down there. Um, but if you're using a nice straight edge, you should see that it should go right through this point. Uh, if I follow my slope, you should be able to figure that out as well. Okay, any questions about that? All right, do me a favor. Um, go ahead and take it. For the next problem, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to toss my two points into my T-chart. Um, that's going to help me calculate my rise and my run. Uh, my change in Y is a positive 3. Going from negative 5 to 1, that's a positive 6. So my change in y over my change in x, my slope is equal to positive 3 over 6, which I can simplify to 1 half. So my equation is y equals 1 half x plus, I don't know, so I'm going to have to come over here. y equals 1 half x plus b. I'll plug in one of my coordinate pairs. I like dealing with this all positive stuff over here, so I'm actually going to use this one instead of the first one. Yeah, it doesn't matter which, which pair you use. Um, and like I said, I prefer this one because it's all positive, and I also get to multiply by 1, which is super easy. plus b, and so that gives me 8 equals 1 half plus b, and I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and change that to a decimal now, so 8 is equal to 0.5 plus b, and add that negative 0.5 to both sides.
So that's going to give me negative 0.5 plus 8. That's basically like taking 50 cents away, so it's going to be 7.5 is equal to B. Um, so that means I can go ahead and plug that into my equation over here. And we can graph it. So I'm going to graph these two points, negative 5, 5, negative 5, 5, and 1, 8. And if we draw a nice straight line using a nice straight edge, we should see that this is going to cross somewhere between 7 and 8. And mine's, we can see that mine's slightly off, but we still see that it actually crosses between seven and eight over here. So that's what we want. That's kind of a check on our work.